Hello everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel Mission Net Physics Exam. And guys, today in this video, we are going to discuss some more important points related to the topic operational amplifier. So in the previous class, we have discussed about the different type of circuits. In the previous video, I have talked about that. So guys, if you have watched that video, that's very good. And if you have not watched that video, you can watch it once. It will be helpful for all of you, which will help you to understand that different type of circuits if you are having, where the input has been provided to a particular terminal of operational amplifier, what it represents, what it tells you, even the feedback, on which side the feedback has been provided, what it is going to inform us about. So guys, all these things will get clear to you if you will watch the previous video which I have uploaded before this one on the channel Mission Net Physics Exam. Now guys, if I'm going to talk about today's video, this is basically related to the applications of OPAMP. And from this point, the points I will cover in today's session uh, will be there will be great, great, great chances that you can expect the questions in your upcoming CSI or net physics exam as well as in the gate physics exam. And from these topics, questions have been asked so many times. Clear? So yeah, the chances are so high that you can get the questions in upcoming exam as well from these points. Now, let me just quickly tell you about these points and the type of questions you can expect from this topic so that everything will be clear to all of you and you will be able to solve any question very easily. So guys, the first thing is differentiator circuit. If I'm going to talk about differentiator circuit and the integrator circuit, the first and the very important thing is that we should be able to identify that the given circuit is differentiator or given circuit is integrator. Also, what is the difference in both? See, both are the circuits in which the input has been provided towards the inverting terminal as you can even see it or check it in the figures. Okay, so if you will see that the input has been provided on the negative terminal in both the figures or both the circuits. Clear? Next thing, the feedback has been provided towards the negative terminal itself in both the circuits, that same. Another thing, if you will look at the position of the capacitor and the resistance connected in the circuit, you will find that that has been interchanged in one and the other circuit. Clear? So in the differentiator, capacitor is present first and then the resistance is present. While in the integrator, the resistance is present first, then the capacitor is present. So how we can keep it in mind easily, how we can memorize it so that we will not have to put some extra efforts as well as we will not make any mistake. So what is that thing we can keep in mind? So guys, you can relate it in this way that is differentiator. It is starting with D. Okay, and in the alphabetical order, if you will check, the C and D are present closer to each other. So when differentiator circuit, you are going to focus on the capacitor will be present first. Okay, and then resistance and it's opposite. That means just change, interchange the positions of resistance and capacitor. You will get the integrator circuit. Also, guys, the other terminal, which is non-inverting terminal, which is the positive one that has been grounded in both the circuits okay so this is another important thing you should observe in both the circuits now another thing which you all should know that is the output expression corresponding to differentiator and integrator so when we are talking about differentiator the output expression or the output voltage will be equal to minus rc d by dt v input whatever input voltage you have provided you will write it there Okay, so this is differentiator circuit, it differentiates the input we have provided to it. So that's how you will be able to get this thing. Also, the output voltage of the integrator circuit will be equal to minus 1 upon RC, integration 0 to T, V input and DT. So that's how you can easily get the output voltage for the integrator circuit. Also guys, if I'm going to talk about the different type of inputs which can be provided or which are having the great chances that you will have this thing given in the question that yeah if this input has been provided to integrator or this input has been provided to differentiator what kind of output we will get so let's talk about those cases as well in differentiator case if you are providing the square input okay square wave as the input not square just square wave as the input then the output will be spikes or same as the Dirac delta function clear 
also if the input in the differentiator circuit has been provided as the sine wave okay then the output will be cosine wave if the input has been provided as the triangular wave the output will be square wave now these were for the differentiator circuits if i am going to talk about integrator circuit if the input has been provided as the square wave the output will be triangular wave in the integrator okay if input has been provided as the sine wave the output will be cosine wave also in the circuit guys the direction of current we have shown you can take it accordingly okay even in in the feedback path you can just consider it on your own as well so mainly the position and all those things are main and the other rules how we are going to show the current direction and all they are just basics okay so i hope you all will be able to consider it you can even focus on that that what should be the exact direction where it should flow okay so the direction of arrow okay so that you can consider accordingly and thank you so much everyone for watching this video till the end i hope each and every point is clear to you and all these points are very 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 important so don't miss even a single point out of the discussion we have done and anywhere if you will have any doubt you can let me know we'll do the discussion about those points okay and this you can consider the most important and the most expected topic from the uh electronics part clear also guys if you want to attend the more regular live classes by the top educators we are having on unacademy plus for your upcoming csr net physics exam preparation then you can also take the unacademy plus subscription for that because after taking the unacademy plus subscription you will be able to attend the live classes by the top educators we are having on unacademy plus for your upcoming exam preparation also whenever you will take the unacademy plus subscription by using the referral code that is anjali arora as i have mentioned it here you just need to write it as it is no space in between okay spelling should be same also guys one more thing that there on unacademy plus so many important courses are going on right now and many new courses are soon going to start okay for your like they will start from the starting itself so if you are having any uh, suggestions the topics for which you want uh, the classes also one more thing that we will have our live sessions okay uh, from the july so is july starting for those sessions which are going to be youtube sessions clear so for those sessions even you can tell me the topics you want uh, the discussion about okay the important topics so that we will start from those topics initially and it will be helpful for you so thank you so much everyone for watching this video till the end also guys uh, in the community tab i will provide you the post regarding that where you can poll uh participate in the poll and you can tell me that what are these topics on which you want the discussion first you want the live classes on the youtube channel as well okay so thank you so much everyone for watching this video till the end thank you and keep on watching all of the videos i have provided you on this channel that is mission net physics exam if you have not watched other videos you can watch them they will be helpful for you also guys one more thing that is if you have not subscribed this channel yet you can subscribe it okay click on the bell icon to get the notification for the new videos i will provide you on this channel thank you so much everyone for watching this video till the end thank you